This is part one of the series of potassium metal experiments. Potassium is a silvery white alkali soft metal that can easily be cut with a knife. Potassium turns to a slight purplish color when exposed to the air after being freshly cut, along with a white flaky material forming on its surface called potassium peroxide. Potassium's atomic number is 19 with the symbol K located in the alkali metals column group 1 and period 4 off of the periodic table. Potassium metal has a very low melting point and boiling point. Its melting point is 63.5 degrees Celsius or 146.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually less than the boiling point of water. The boiling point of potassium is 757 degrees Celsius or 1395 degrees Fahrenheit. Its hardness is 0.4, which is hard as candle wax and has a density of 0.89 grams per cubic centimeter, making it less dense than water. Potassium was discovered by British chemist Sir Humphrey Davy in 1807. Due to its reactivity, potassium does not occur as a free element in nature, but as a compound combined with other minerals such as orthoclase and some granites. Your body actually needs potassium, not the raw metal, but it does need potassium because it's necessary for the body to function. Potassium ions are needed for nerve transmission. Fruits and vegetables contain high amounts of potassium, especially bananas and potatoes. These would be your best source of potassium. However, do not eat nor do not touch the free element of potassium itself. Get your potassium the safe way by eating fruits and vegetables. Other uses include potash, which is used to make fertilizer. Since potassium has only one valence electron, it can easily give it up, which is why it reacts violently with water. In fact, all alkali metals react violently with water, getting more violent reactions as one moves down the periodic chart. Here, you can see just a tenth of a gram of potassium thrown into water. The potassium reacts with the water, combining with an oxygen atom and a hydrogen atom to create potassium hydroxide, which remains in the water. And it releases a hydrogen atom in the form of hydrogen gas. That's the reason you see a flare up, because it's the hydrogen gas igniting as the potassium touches the water. Potassium hydroxide can also irritate the skin, so it is best to wash the container out to get rid of any residual potassium hydroxide as well as wash your hands if you've come in contact with it. I will be also posting different types of potassium experiments in the future as well. Thanks for watching.